God does not delight in your weakness and complaints. Your tears and those things that you have thought will ease your pain and bring you a solution and the attention of the Lord are not really what will turn your tears into joy. God has heard your cry many times. God has seen your tears, He has heard your prayers, and He has seen everything that is happening in your life. You do not know what to do about the situation again, because it has gone beyond what you can handle and hold. You have cried and shouted because you are in pain, lack, and nothing is working for you. You have failed many times, and there seems not to be any sign of change or improvement in your life. When you lost your job and your finances crashed, you thought your whole world was crashing. But that is not the end. The fall of anyone is not the end of their life. Rather, the fall allows you to rise and stand firm on your feet to become better and stronger. You cannot keep crying when you have the strength to change your life and your situation. Do you not know that wherever there is reproach, there is also strength to break through? You are only feeling the pain because you have allowed the pain to bring you down. You have exacted the strength you were supposed to use and confront your pain and fight through and break through from chains weeping. But there is an opportunity from the Lord today that is turning things around for you. There is a hand that is turning your pain into fame and turning your sorrows and tears into joy and laughter. God is doing this thing for you. You may not know what the Lord is doing for you, but the Lord God that changes situations around is changing things in your life and making things to happen in your life. God is giving you a new testimony and calling you by a new name that will not bring reproach to your life again. You can get there. You can also see your tears turned into joy. You can break free from that predicament and those unpleasant situations. Your life can become great again if you believe. Hannah believed and her tears and pains were turned to joy. The woman with the disease of the blood knew her situation could be changed if she touched the garment of the Lord. And it worked for her. You have to be intentional about your life. You have to take that step of faith. Things do not just change in our life until we take a step of faith that will make your life better. Everybody that God turned their tears into joy and happiness made it possible for God to do new things for them. Where is your faith? Your faith is your identity and your force that will put God into action. Bring forth your faith and make it stand faith before the Lord. Hebrews 11 verse 6 But without faith, it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to Him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that He is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek Him out. You want your life to be blessed? Put faith to work. Without faith, you cannot turn your tears to joy. If you want that promotion and that position, put faith to work because without faith, you cannot please God to do it for you. The health challenges that have kept you down for many years without hope of remedy. God is saying, you have to have faith. You have to build a phone to make it work. Those things that have drilled peace out of you and given you sorrow, God is changing it for you and your happiness is coming back to you. You will experience total restoration. You are about to get the best treatment from the divine that will blossom your heart. 
no matter how long that situation has lasted. It does not matter what you have suffered in life. The presence of the Lord is changing things for you. You will testify. You will shout for joy. Those torments and demons that have made your life desolate and dried without anything to show for it. God is taking them out of your life and making their works powerless in your life. Stop the panic. Stop the worries and complaints. Just give God the praise because God is turning things around in your life. God is making ways for you where no one ever thought of having a way. Those that have left you and mocked you will come and celebrate you because what God is going to do for you will shut the mouth of critics in your life. God is doing a new thing. You are getting there. Do not give up on yourself. Do not let go of your faith because that is the force that will make God do what he wants to do in your life. Though life has not been fair for you, but from now your life will become the inspiration for many that will get connected to you. Those that God will bring into your life will begin to bring in favor and blessings into your life. Arise and give thanks. Let your praise reach the heavens and let the Lord on his throne receive your praise of thanksgiving because of what he is doing in your life. It is well with you because your mouth shall be filled with laughter. Your life will be filled with joy. You will live in an unending flow of the blessings and supplies of the Lord in your life. Blessed are you if you receive mercy from the Lord and your life is transformed from what it used to be to what God wants it to be. Because God wants you to be blessed and live in good health. 3 John 1 verse 2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well, even as your soul keeps well and prospers. Rejoice in the Lord for his loving kindness that he has shown into you. Rejoice in your faith. Rejoice in your knowledge that you know that God can do all things for you. Rejoice because your life has come. Rejoice because the Lord has turned your tears and sorrows into joy and given you the fullness of happiness. Rejoice again, I say rejoice. You are most loved. You have received favor and you have been shown mercy. Let your heart be merry because your life is about to reflect the love of the Lord and show forth that the Lord Almighty is great and generously changing lives. This is your testimony and it is done. Hallelujah.